Now let's work on a second enhancement to our navigation. Let's first change the width of the button from 100% to 44 pixels. Remember that's the minimum size for a touch item. When we inspect, we can see that change. Next we add to the button, position absolute. You can see it hiding here. We can now move this button anywhere on the screen we want using top right, bottom left. We could set top to zero and now it's up here by the company name. We could set the right to zero and now it's up here. Well, what if we had a login button already in this corner? We could move it over by changing the right to say 50 pixels. Can you see how powerful this can be? In my case, I will set the right to two view width so it's not touching the screen edge. Remember, we are trying to implement good design. Now in my case, the header color is gray. So I would need to change the color to something else. As you can see, with these few changes, we have a third version for small screen navigation which blends beautifully with larger devices as well. I hope you are seeing how setting up rules for small screens carries over into large screens. Also, how you only need a few CSS statements in your large CSS file to change the navigation layout. This is called progressive enhancement.